Here we are in the creative kitchen. Today's focus is the graphic lines on the individual leaves for the Living Waters tree project. We have a sample leaf painted here that already shows the graphic lines that we're about to do on the tree itself. But as a sample, I'd like to show you how this works. First of all, we're using a Montana paint marker. This is a 15 millimeter nib. Uh, they come as wide as 150 millimeters. They're, they're extremely wide, probably about three inches wide. This would be considered a medium point. And it's a professional uh, tool. I like these paint markers because in contrast with using a brush, which we could use a brush for this, but every time you use a brush per stroke, especially with line, you have to load the brush every time. In this case, it's easy just to decide I'm gonna make a stroke here and with a, much like with a brush, it's done. And if you have to go back because it's a drawing implement, and most artists feel most comfortable drawing, you can achieve some very crisp, sharp lines with use of a uh, paint marker. And this is an acrylic paint marker. The, the paint is a good high quality paint. And so it is artist grade. We're sweeping now over here to the actual tree themselves. And you can see we have the individual leaves painted. However, they are not uh, lined with the individual lines. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So here we are, we're gonna focus um, on the top right edge of the leaves primarily, and our light source is coming from this direction. That's why the top portion of the leaves, leaves are all painted um, this light yellow green color. And we're gonna just take our paint marker and we're gonna start rimming this out. Now it's a little challenging here in this video because as I'm pressing in with this marker, the actual, you know, leaf itself is moving in and out because it's a little flimsy here on this edge. So I'm going to go up to this one here and we'll go ahead and lay that line in. It almost goes unnoticeable uh, at the beginning. It will dry. You can see the contrast right there. It looks a little better. And so this is just going to further establish that this indeed is the top edge where the sun is hitting. And so you'll especially notice it in more of the darker, uh, you see the brighter yellow green here, and then it goes to more of the lime green shade here. So we'll try this uh, again to show you the contrast that you'll see. There you go. Just that little hint right there, along with the whole top edge, starts to really identify that this is where the light's coming from. I think you'll especially see it on this leaf right here. And there you go, you can see that nice line there. So that's how you do the light yellow green. It's a very simple step, uh, but when you pan back to the leaves that we've done, you can already start to see the establishment of that highlight right there on the top of the leaf edge.